Hi, my name is Casey and welcome to Get Your Play Online with our bedtime story at 10 p.m. Tonight I want to read you Ruby Finds a Worry. To start by Tom Percival and to start I'm going to read the back a little bit about what this book will be about. It says, Dear Reader, this is a book about a girl who can't get rid of a worry. Everyone worries about things from time to time and it can be hard to stop. Even though we can't see our worries like Ruby can, they're there with us. Ignoring them can sometimes make them worse. So here are a few questions to ask yourself when you think you have a worry stuck to you. Question one, what am I feeling? Is it sad, angry, anxious, all of them? What could be causing me to feel this way? And who can I talk to it about? Talk to it, talk about it with. No matter what you're feeling, remember that it always helps to talk about it. Be open and be honest. Love the author. So we're gonna find out if Ruby has a worry and possibly how she helps her worry. So if you're just joining, we're reading Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. There's Ruby. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. She looks so happy here. She's playing at the park. She's playing with her windmill and she loved to explore wild far away places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. You can see flowers around her. She's outside. She's smiling. She discovered a worry it wasn't a very big worry. Do you see him hanging out right here? Ruby's kind of looking at him like, uh-oh. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day, it got a little bit bigger. So here's Ruby and the worry on the bench, eating ice cream. Here's the worry following Ruby wherever she walks. And here is the worry getting bigger next to Ruby while she's reading a book. Each day got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. So here is the worry with Ruby in her bedroom, following her everywhere she goes. It was there at breakfast staring at her over the cereal box. It's everywhere. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. So no matter where she goes, her worry is getting bigger and it's following her. Think about if you ever have a worry that follows you throughout the day or a worry about going to school or maybe even playing at the park with different friends. Let's find out what happens to Ruby's worry. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So here's Ruby's worry, and here's her teacher, and no one can even see it. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. So not only can no one else see it, but now Ruby is pretending that she doesn't see it. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry is getting bigger and still next to her. The worry is getting really big and next to her on the swing. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things she loved. So while she was worrying, she, the worry got bigger and bigger and she wasn't able to do and enjoy the things she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? If it's riding her bike with her, playing the piano with her, eating her birthday cake. It's everywhere. You can see it. 
Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you could ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Ruby's worry is as big as Ruby. Now the worry was enormous. So bigger than Ruby. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time, and it filled up half the school bus. So no matter where she's at home, she's at school, she's at the park, it's everywhere. And it took up a whole row at the movie theater. Look how big it is. No one else can see it, but it's sitting there right with Ruby. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. So no matter where Ruby goes, it's always there. Then, one day, something unexpected happened. What do you notice in this picture? Here's Ruby with her worry. What's over here? Can you tell someone at home? Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? So there's this boy and his worry and Ruby and her worry. And she can see his worry because she has one. It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. So you see all her friends all having worries. She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. So it started out, if you look back here, it started out really big. And now it's shrinking because he's talking to Ruby about it. But then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. Look, it's she's letting her worry go and run free. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. They talked to each other about it. They both had a worry. And by talking about it, they got a lot smaller. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, so here's Ruby and her friend playing. They're so excited. Yeah, he's over there. But if we look back, he was taking up whole rows at the movie theater, and now he's just this small. But now she knew how to get rid of them, and they never hung around for long. So if you have worries, find a friend or a family member that you can talk to them about. And as Ruby talked to her friend, and as he talked to Ruby, her worry shrank, shrunk, and we all have worries, and they might stick around, and they might always be there, but if you talk about it like Ruby did, then hopefully they will shrink, and you will feel better. On the back, Ruby it says, Ruby had always been perfectly happy until the day she discovered a worry. But now, Ruby, and you know what to do when you have a worry. Thank you for joining us for our bedtime story, and I hope you enjoyed it. Good night.